Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Models Gimba, and today I'm in with some few modeling tips and tricks. If you take a look on the screen here, I have my grid done in place, and we want to create a very simple part of frame. Now I'll, I'll go straight to to steel and pick on the column and snap right at the, the these two intersection line and snap at the middle there. Those that, that is the mid, the, the inter intersection point of my grid line. So my part of frame span from this from grid one to grid three so that uh, uh, my span length is 12 meters and the length and my span dimension is 12 meters and the length of my of my portal of my portal frame will be 18 meters so let, let's first of all confirm that we'll come to measure pick on distance and snap right there and move all the way to that spot it is 18 meters confirmed now if you take a look on the rotation of my column it's just way off the point intended to be on it's facing on, on, on uh, I mean, on the opposite direction, and we want, we have to rotate this. And how do we rotate that? We have op option one: double clicking on it and coming to column properties here, and come to positioning and pick, and uh, go straight to, to, to rotation and play with these four options. So another way of doing it very quick: just select on it and mouse over this uh, cube. Let me just show you this cube. Mouse over it and come to come to position, pick on that, and as it as it is now, it is at 90 degrees. So we want to just feed it to 90 de degrees on to face the, the, the direction that we want it to be on. We'll just add another 90 to make it 180. Right there and enter, and it will turn. And if we, if we you want to shift it off the point, you play with this. Maybe you can shift it off by 50, and enter, you'll be able to see it has shifted by, by 50. And also feed that, it's shifted by 50. There, you can see that. So if I click on empty screen and close that, and bring and come closer, you'll see it has shifted by, 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 by 50, by 50 millimeters. Double click on that, reduce that. Then just mouse over that cube. Just mouse over that cube and we go back where we were before. And that will change to change that to uh, zero zero. Now we want to create another column on, in the opposite direction. Just select on it. Then uh, you can either right click and come to copy, pick it, pick it and place it here, or you can just populate right, right click and come to special copy and pick linear and just feed in. This is this is relative to the, the direction of the x y z. So we we want to populate this along the x uh, the y axis. So we'll come to y axis and just feed in. 12 meters and enter on the keyboard. Don't entering will, will, will not be will not be interpreted or immediately by technical structure. So what you do you do just go ahead and click OK or, or copy, right click and click inter, in, interrupt to terminate that command. Now click on empty screen to deselect the, your previous selection. Now we have two columns here. Now the next thing we want to place thereafter, and this is where the, the trick comes in. How do you place it, and how do you guess? How do you play around? Unless you create your your elevations view, your elevation view in Tecla structure, which might be somehow it might take you some bit of time. So another trick here is you come to steel here and pick on the beam, then just snap at the center of this column, then press Control button on your mouse, and we want to snap at the midpoint. On the grid level, on, on, on the grid level here, on, on the on, on the ground grid here, then press control. Press control and snap on the on the midpoint between the two columns. That will be the position of our pitch. Now click on that. So the moment you click on that, you'll be able to see this line changing to red. Tecla is reading that as a beam, but it is a dummy beam. So we want to define the height. You can see that you can see the one define the height of our of our pitch. Another scenario where which you might face is that in first of all come here and and and, and, and disable also here and come back. If I, if you come to beam and snap and follow the same same process and snap on that spot, I want to snap on that spot. Let me snap, snap on that spot. Then press Control, then snap at the midpoint of your pitch, but on the ground grid. On the ground grid, I mean on the ground, but at the middle point in between the two columns. If you snap right there, 
and you want to move up, your movement upward will not be straight because you must see you must see a symbol of right angle triangle. So it's not indicating whether it is it is a straight line. So you might be really struggling to point in that direction, but you find you might find yourself in a very in a very in a very strange direction. So if I snap right there, it will not it, it will not be able to snap. Or if I enter any dimension, maybe that and enter that, you'll be able to see it snapping in a very in, in, in a very in a in a wrong direction, which you don't intend it to be on. So we'll delete that. So the first thing you must take into account, first of all, before you take this route or, to, or try to, to or try to use this uh, uh, this uh, tr uh, tip or trick, come to file first of all and come to settings and enable the author. Then come back, pick on the steel, then pick on the beam, then snap right at the top here. Then press control button on your keyboard and snap at the midpoint of your pitch, but at the bottom end, I mean on the ground level. Now, snap on that spot. Just click or left click on that spot. So if you move up, because we've enabled auto mode, you'll be able to see that symbol of of 90 degrees symbol at the bottom end there. So I'll move up and feed in, or I'll feed in the measurement or the pitch height from from uh, from zero zero level. I'll feed in two. I mean 8.5. I'll enter on my keyboard. So if I right click, you'll be able to see that our our rafter is actually up here and in the in the right position. So I'll right click. And placing the next one is very simple. So you use this as a datum or as a reference. So come to steel and pick on the beam and snap at the middle point here. Then move all the way to this far end and snap right at the top here. So you see that it's snapping and it, the, the, they're connecting so well. So if I rotate that, you'll be able to see it's connecting. So what you do is very simple. Just come to Applications and Component here and just type Hound, Hound, and pick that and connect this to this. You have your Hound in place. Right click and redraw. And we'll come back to come back to this one to that Hound, and we want to connect this to that, and connect this one to that one. And right click, right click and re and redraw. Now you can go ahead. And populate everything along along the length. Right click and come to special copy here and pick linear and populate this at a distance of six six meters. But how many do you want? You want we want four of them because we we, we have the fifth. So I'll just type first of all take note of the, of the position of or, or, I mean of the direction of the of the x axis. So I'll feed in a negative sign there and feed in six meters right there. And uh, how many do we want to want four of them? And go ahead and click copy. So don't mind. Just click expand. So they want to expand. Just get rid of, of of any that you don't need. Just get rid of that. Get rid of that. You don't need that. So this is enough for us. Right click, and fit work area to entire model. That's it. Now the next thing remaining is we want to place our base plate and how do you place the base plate for all the columns at one go now i'll come to i'll come to i'll come to applications and components just type base base plate and i want to use a particular tool i want to use maybe 10 14 i'll pick on the 10 14 here so what i'm going to do i'm going to select everything and place my base plate by just one click i'll come to view and first of all, rotate this into a position where I'll be able to rotate this and I'll be able to see them. I'll be able to see all of them. Right click and select all the columns. After selecting on the macro stiffened base plate or any particular base plate you intend to use, release the mouse, then just pick on any column. I can pick on this. Can pick on this because but I want to pick on one and I want to pick this one and if I click on that you'll be able to see all the plates placed 
if I zoom out, you'll be able to see, if I right click and refresh, and you'll be able to see we've placed all the base plates by just one click. That's how you handle that. Perfect, we'll save that. And another thing, if we if we create a drawing, if I come here and right click and want to create assembly drawing here, come to assembly drawing right there, I'll go ahead and click number, number, I perform numbering. So if I come to, to drawings and report and pick on that and try to open this and see if I open this, let's let, let it be opened. You'll be able to see I have a white background, but normally white uh, white backgrounds normally not really nice, and you can you can miss some details. So we want a, a black background. How do you change that? I'll save this first. So if I, as I've saved that, I'm going to close this for now. So once you've closed that, come to file here, then come to settings. Come to settings then come to advanced options so under advanced options on your right i mean on your left where you see analysis and design cnc components concrete detailing the mission general the mission balls now we want to change the drawing we have two options here we have drawing for the drawing section and we have the model so if you if you go to the model view you, you can you you'll be able to change the background also so first of all let's try for the drawing we are not trying it but we are going to do it and it will work now i'm going to pick on the drawing view so i'm going to pick on the drawing view all the details all the properties that 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 falls under drawing view comes on your right here so we want to change the background the black back the, the black drawing background if i try and drag this aside you'll be able to see black drawing background so we want that so i'll drag that so where you see the value under value you see the false here just click on the false and click on this drop down list and change from false to, to true click on that then what you'll do go ahead and click apply click click apply and click ok once you've done that for that to take effect what you'll do you will have to you will have to restart the tech, uh, you will have to restart tecla structure and prior to starting tecla structure because you don't want to go back and forth we'll first of all go back and check whether what you've done is 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 per what we expected it to be so i'm going to pick on the file here and pick on uh, pick on the and pick on the settings once again to, to to check and pick and uh, go to advanced settings i'll click on view and uh, select on that it's still on the true. So I'm going to confirm apply and give and give that. Then right click and come to exit. We want to exit. Now if we open Tecla structure, just let us give it some time to open. We are working on we are working on new model 26. I'll pick on that and open it. So I'll give it some time to load everything. So what I'm going to do, we are going to confirm whether our changes, our, our the changes we made have taken effect. So let's wait and wait for let's wait for the tecla structure to to open there there we are and I'll, I'll minimize that and maximize this so if we come back to drawing or try to open a drawing by coming to drawings and report and, and pick uh, doc, document manager and try open these we'll see whether that has changed exactly it has changed and the background is black boom Please apply that, and this looks. This has a, a nice display, and I like it. Please try that, and uh, thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Lamoris Dimba, and also try and visit us on advanced course training in New Delhi. Just type Morris Dimba, and all the courses will, will roll down and pick whichever package that fits you. Bye bye, I'm Morris Dimba, and thanks. Don't forget to subscribe.